Hi everyone, I am Dr. Vinod Kumar, Interventional Cardiologist. Today we are going to discuss about uh, one important topic, uh, triglycerides, which is a bad cholesterol. Most of us know that LDL is a bad cholesterol, but we ignore uh, the triglycerides. So we will see in this video what is triglycerides and how it is going to be affecting the body and what are the measures we should take to control the triglycerides. Whatever excess calories we take more than our requirements per day is converted into triglycerides and is stored in the body. Whenever we take less amount of food, this triglycerides is used for energy consumption. So normally uh, the triglyceride level will be less than 150 for a normal person. When it crosses more than 200 to uh, almost when it uh, reaches up to 500, the heart attack risk increases, brain attack increase, risk increases. When the triglyceride level crosses more than 500 to 1000, that is an important disease called pancreatitis. So it is one of the important uh, dis uh, reason for developing pancreatitis. So patients with uh, some of the medical conditions are associated with increased amount of uh, triglycerides like uh, diabetes, hypothyroid and patients with overweight and obesity, patients with kidney failure and some of the medications will increase the triglycerides level. So uh, we should not uh, take triglycerides lightly. Whenever the triglycerides levels are high, we need to control it very uh, strictly. So what are the measures we should take to control triglycerides? There are uh, four important things are there. One is diet. Number two, uh, reducing alcohol intake. Uh, number three, uh, physical activity. And number four, weight reduction. These are the four uh, methods by which you can reduce your triglycerides. I am going to focus uh, first on diet, which is very, very important. And diet I will divide into uh, four categories for your better understanding. Uh, I will divide diet into carbohydrate, protein, fat, oil I keep it separately for understanding. Okay. So first carbohydrate. How carbohydrate is going to affect triglycerides? Refined carbohydrate. Anything white. White rice, white flour. They are all called refined carbohydrates because it doesn't contain any fiber. So these things should be restricted in our diet. Instead of that, try to take more amount of uh, whole grains like uh, wheat, whole wheat or barley or oats or quinoa, buckwheat or millets. It can be foxtail millet, pearl millet, kodo millet, little millet or any type of millets, bajra, anything. All type of millets can be taken uh, uh, instead of refined uh, carbohydrate. When you take uh, more amount of whole grains, your triglyceride level comes significantly less. Second one sweets try to avoid uh, sweets or uh, cookies candies pastries ice creams uh, flavored yogurts and uh, energy drinks sport drinks like uh, iced tea and a uh, lot of uh, coffee tea with a lot of sugars and soda and fruit juices fruit punches and all those things contain a lot of, of sugar uh, any increase in uh, sucrose or fructose anything going to increase your triglycerides significantly triglycerides is the only cholesterol which is very significantly affected by your intake of sugar content in the diet and third your some of the vegetables also like mashed potato yam and they increase the triglycerides significantly next uh, some of the dry fruits especially apricot uh, dates and figs they contain lot amount of uh, fructose which increase which is going to increase your triglycerides so these are all food items which we need to reduce uh, in our diet to uh, decrease the triglyceride level so this has to be concentrated very seriously decrease refined carbohydrates like white rice sweets and uh, dry fruits you are going to reduce you are going to increase your whole grains like millets all items and anything like uh, wheat oat barley you are going to increase and at the same time you are going to increase your fruits and uh, fresh fruits and you are going to decrease your dry fruits this is the first thing second thing regarding uh, proteins try to minimize or restrict your animal proteins uh, especially a red meat and increase your uh, plant proteins like legumes you can take chickpeas green peas all types of uh, dolls everything we can increase to uh, reduce your cholesterol levels third thing regarding fats saturated fat you should restrict your saturated fat intake and trans fatty acid intake increase omega-3 fatty acid 
and MUFA. So saturated fatty acid means mainly comes from animal sources like uh, red meat and then uh, cheese, butter and ghee. Try to reduce them. Trans fatty acid mainly from vanaspati, cut down. You have to increase your omega-3 fatty acid significantly which is mainly coming from sea fish. If you take more sea fish, your triglyceride level are going to fall. So if you are a vegetarian, uh, omega-3 fatty acids are also going to come from flax seed, chia seeds, a lot of green leafy vegetables and your walnut. They all contain a good amount of uh, omega-3 fatty acid. Next, MUFA, that is walnut, almond, um, your olive oil, all those things contain increased amount of MUFA which are going to reduce your uh, triglycerides. So two fats increase, you have to decrease your saturated fatty acid, trans fatty acid, you have to decrease your omega-3 fatty acid and MUFA, you have to increase. Last oil, so you have to uh, be very careful in taking ghee and coconut oil, their consumption should be restricted, palm oil should be avoided, vanaspati should be avoided, this is regarding oil. Then what oil are good for uh, reducing your triglycerides, you should uh, take uh, olive oil, extra virgin olive oil or uh, avocado oil or uh, peanut oil of course. These are the oils which are good for your uh, mm, triglycerides. Next thing, uh, weight reduction. So weight reduction is the very important uh, uh, um, thing for reducing triglycerides. If you are reducing your weight by 10%, your triglycerides is going to come down by 40 uh, milligrams. For example, if you are 80 kg man and if you are reducing your uh, weight by uh, 8 kgs, your triglycerides is going to come down by 40 milligrams. So weight reduction is very important mainly by doing physical activity and exercise. Physical activity, almost 30 to 45 minutes of physical activity a must for everybody uh, per day, at least 5 to uh, 6 days in a week you should do. At least brisk walking is a must to reduce your triglycerides. If you walk, your weight is going to come down and your bad cholesterol is going to come down and uh, your risk of heart attack is going to come down. And next thing, alcohol consumption, very important. Increasing alcohol increases triglycerides. Decreasing alcohol significantly decreases triglycerides. Very important, very strong association between, between alcohol and triglycerides. If you reduce your tri alcohol intake, triglycerides are going to come down. So apart from diet, very important you have to consider alcohol. Many patients, they just, they want medications for decreasing triglycerides. No, first you have to change your lifestyle and diet. First you reduce your alcohol or completely stop your alcohol consumption. Take good diet, do good physical activity. If, if all these measures are not going to reduce your triglycerides for within two to three months, then we are going to add medications for that. So very important is following good dietary patterns are very important for triglycerides. So keep your triglycerides under control. Don't ignore triglycerides and don't always search for medicines. First thing you have to put effort from your side. Then if it's not coming down, then we'll come to play. Thank you.